We're back now at Wofford College in Spartanburg, South Carolina, and we moved over to the Benjamin Johnson Arena where the Terriers play basketball, but where tomorrow the Republicans will gather for that critical debate. Spartanburg is a city of 40,000 people, and tonight we will meet the most famous of them all on the road with Steve Hartman. The Beacon Diner will never get the American Heart Association seal of approval, but it does have the approval of most everyone else. Love it. Folks come here from across the country and line up out the door, partly for the food you order, of course. Two hot dogs! But partly for how you order your food. I said a bacon whip, right? His name is J.C. Strobel. He's 70, legally blind from glaucoma, and has been working here 54 years. Hey, JC. Hey, man, how are you, sweetheart? How do you have fun on job that many years? Number one, you got to love people, which I do. Have a blessed day. He is what they call here the caller. Call it. Customers tell him their order, and he calls it out to the cooks, right. often using this bizarre language he invented. Poke up plenty all the way to go. Call it. People love it. General Manager Kenny Church. And they'll stand there and watch him for 15 or 20 minutes. Oh, they will. And they're amazed. No trimming, right? I like how he hollers out the order for you. Why do they keep things straight? I can't believe it. Jay Lee's the man. He's going to keep order in this place. Yeah, he keeps the line moving. Out of sweet potato tots. His popularity is something no fast food worker has ever attained. Presidential candidates even stop by to see him. Still, for JC, in the end, being all that is not the end all be all. What are you most proud of in your life? Sitting right here by me. Robe, his wife, My wife, says family has always trumped fame. He was a good father because that's why my kids are where they are and like they are now. I wanted my kids to get an education. Three out of four listened and graduated from college. But his oldest, Kiki, she was a different story. I felt like I didn't need education. Kiki was convinced, but her father, the one who never quit on anything, refused to give up on his daughter either, and just kept telling her, go to college. Every day. Every day. Every day. Never let up on her. The older she get, the more I lean on her and the harder. <laughs> For nearly 30 years this went on, until just a few months ago. Guess who finally got her degree? What did you study in college? Philanthropy. In the end, her motivation was to start the J.C. Strobel Glaucoma Awareness Foundation. Glaucoma her vision? To, use, uh, to save other people's. And she'll no doubt be successful. As long as she keeps listening to her dad. I put your heart and soul into it. Heart and soul. Steve Hartman, on the road in Spartanburg, South Carolina.